Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our wrist pin bushings and you can see that there is a split on this bushing. It looks like a puzzle piece as it's joined together. I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera or not. What I want to do with that is in the rod end is I want to position it so that I'm not lining up with the oil hole here here or here. We don't want to face down at the bottom because that's where the impact loading is right on the yoke of the connecting rod beam. So I'm just going to turn this to the position I'd like to see it in and I'm going to use the arbor press to press it into position and bottom it and then have a look at the install looks pretty good I'm in the right position there's my split away from that oil hole away from this oil hole and away from the bottom end of the rod now you can see here there's a difference in dimensional clearance it didn't come through as far here as when the arbor press bottomed it here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a socket I'm gonna go back and this takes a little bit of finesse you just want to adjust it so that you're pretty well centered and there isn't really a specification to go by it's by desired install based on the technician that's doing it and if you take a look now I've got a very small amount here you can hear it and a very small amount here which you can hear also um, we're not going to go and do any measurements on this but again it's by experience and now I'll go ahead and show you the drilling process and then the honing to fit the wrist pin to it so that it moves nicely.